the three different types of emails that you're going to most likely be coding for companies and the three type of strategies that you should be using when building this emails. All right, guys. So let's begin. All right. So let's check out the first email. Now, this is what we call a promotional email. This is an email that's sent out to customers to promote a product, a service, a sale, right? And most of you guys have seen this inside of your emails inbox when you go in and you see somebody sending you from Nike, Adidas, Best Buy, whatever it is you'll see an email like this promoting some type of product that leads you to the actual product itself or to the store or to the collection of products that are on sale. So this is the first one. This is what we call a promotional email. The second email that we have right here is what we call a newsletter. A newsletter is basically an email sent out to customers or leads to basically warm them up on the services that they provide or to update them on the type of services that they have or new features that they might have on the platform. So this is from DigitalOcean. And as you can see, it's pretty much an email that is mostly text. And again, it's just to give information and for people to go in and read through it. Think of it as like a mailing a letter to a friend in a sense, okay? And just updating them on what's happening on the business. So that's right there, a newsletter. Now, right here, what we have is actually a transactional email. These type of emails are for sending a receipt or sending some type of information of like, hey, you got charged for this or you pay for this service or hey, you owe this much, right? Sometimes you might get a email where they're charging you the land, you know, hey, but by the way, you're about to get charged, right? Again, this is what we call a transactional email. By the way, for anybody that's watching this right now, definitely check out the links in the description of this video. Right now, we have a 50% off on the purchase of this course. This is actually a video from the Future Proof Email Developer course. So definitely go check it out. We're covering everything about email development in here from ghost tables to AMP to actually fluid design and a whole bunch of other stuff. We're gonna get into it. So let's continue with this video, right? This is the transactional email. And now what we see here is the three types of strategies to code this emails. So let's start with the first one, right? So basically, this is the email. Imagine an email that has a header, has a content area where it has two columns, right? And this is the desktop version. And for a fluid design, what you want to do is you want to go in and have everything based off percentages. And what that's going to do is that doesn't matter what device it is, it's going to make sure that everything fits that specific device. So as you can see here, we have the header, we have the two column, right? And the content area. And of course you probably have like a footer somewhere, right? But what you're doing is you're taking this two column layout that's on desktop and on mobile, you're squishing everything to fit the screen of a mobile device. So it could be an iPad, it could be any type of device. It's just, it fits right in the middle and make sure that it looks good and presentable for that type of device. Okay. Now this one right here is what we call responsive design. This is where you're going to go in and you're going to start using something called media queries. And this is how we actually go in and say, well, for this device on desktop, we want it to be two column layout, but on mobile, we want this to basically stack up above each other. We have the header on the top. We have the image right here on the top, right? That used to be on the left column. Now it's in the top section. And then we have the text that comes in at the right column goes below that. That's how you go in and you make responsive designs when it comes to emails. Now this works great, right? And it's a great strategy, but there's also an even better strategy, which is going in and making not only responsive emails, but make it a hybrid. So now you're taking everything that we learned from building a fluid email, then going in using media queries for responsive design, but then also to adding extra things like ghost tables and making sure that this thing stacks even in the Gmail app. Now you might say, what am I talking about, Joe? Well, it's very simple, right? There's some situations where certain applications or certain devices, 
they won't work with responsive design. So what we're doing with this is making sure that it works no matter what device this email is opened on. Okay. Now I am going to tell you guys, Fluid Design is the easiest way for you to go in and create an email. It's simple. It's just creating tables, making sure that everything is in line and making sure that, you know, you're using percentages. Responsive Design goes into going in and stacking everything, but hybrid is to make sure that this thing works in any type of situation that's out there. So it is going to take you more time. Now, I want to go in and use this website, caniemail.com, right, uh, to show you guys that, guess what? The style tag, which is where you put all of your styles for your email, is like very important, but sometimes it might not work in every single device, right? So you have things like this, partial, but not supporting in the body tag, partial, not supported with non-Google accounts, buggy, the first head in the HTML is removed. So style and elements need to be in second head elements. So this is like a hack that you got to do to have two head tags, right? And then from there you have buggy, you have the styles elements need to be declared before their rules are used. Uh, CSL's rule uh, following a CSS comment is ignored, right? So this is a number five and you can see the numbers. Each one of these has a number of like the type of bug that it might have on that client. So again, uh, that's very important. And then over here, you have the media queries, right? Media query, right? Orientation, prefers color scheme. This is like for dark mode, light mode, etc. right? You can see that there's some email clients that just doesn't work with it. And they have different situations like this one. Partial does not support nested media queries. Partial only supports screen, min, um, max width, minimum height, minimum uh, max height based on media queries. Again, there's a lot of bugs that happen in all of these different email services. So we have to make sure that it works everywhere. Now, again, it all depends what type of emails you're going for and you know what your company is targeting you know you might go in and work at an agency where they're working with just you know mostly users that are on gmail and they just want something that looks good and most of the time what they're going to do is they're going to choose to go with the fluid way where it's super easy to do and all you have to do is just make sure that the images are like with 100 percent that's it you call it a day you'll see that the, the email itself is just pretty much uh, uh, you know, a bunch of images. And I'll give you a great example of that in here. And this is one of the projects that we are going to be building for this course later on. But basically, this is a very simple email. This is an email that's done mostly with images and is fairly quickly you know, to get done. Okay, especially once we go in and start teaching you guys how to use AI to go in and build this, you're going to get this done in no time, especially with the cursor rules and the prompts I'm going to be giving you guys. This is going to be very, very easy to do right now where it gets a little bit harder and where you're going to have to go into the code because even AI can't fix this, <laughs> believe it or not, like it'll get you to 90% of the way, but you're still going to have to go in there and get dirty with the tables, okay? And it really comes down to an email like this where this is from PenFed uh, Credit Union. And basically, if I go in and I select all of this, one thing that you're gonna notice is these are not just images. This is an image, right? This is a link. All of this is a title, right? All of this right here is actually text. This is the only image here, okay? Then everything else, you have to build it with HTML, CSS. Of course, you know, you might see some images here for icons and things like that, but everything else in here is done with code. Now, guess what? This email, we need to make sure that this email actually looks good in every platform and that all of these are clickable. And the reason why they have to be clickable is because there's going to be companies that are tracking everything that's happening within the email. Are they clicking on logging in? So maybe they're already customers. For example, all of these links need to be tracked. So if someone comes in and gets this email from this bank, 
you want to know if they are actually enrolling for the first time to check their FICO. You're checking to see if they have any questions when they click on this link. Are they Google Play users, right? Are they Android users? Or are they iOS users? Are they interested in auto loans, checking, savings, credit cards, mortgage, home equity, real estate, personal loans? All of this information as they click on it is data that now the company has that they can go in and present them with the right type of emails. Because if someone comes in and clicks on auto loan, even though they didn't fill anything out, guess what? We're tracking that. And now we know they're looking to get a new auto loan. So now we're going to give them emails on auto loans, right? So this type of email is not going to be as simple as something like, you know, from Battlefield, right? Where they just care to know if the person even interested inside of the, this game, okay? So again, there's there's a lot of things that come with this, you know? There's a video that I dropped inside of the course where I talk about, you know, HTML emails are easy, but, <laughs> and there's always a but in, in, in most things, right? Like there's a lot of easy situations, but there's also things that you have to go in and, you know, and, and, and really dive deep, right? So again, this is all the things that we're covering inside of this course. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse of, you know, what we're doing in here, you know, as far as fluid design, responsive design, hybrid design, we're going over every single one. So you could know exactly, okay, my client wants me to build this type of email. I know, oh shoot, let me just build it with fluid. I can knock this out in an hour, two hours, right? Hey, I got to go in and build a responsive design. They're targeting mostly mobile devices. Guess what? We got to go and focus on responsive design. Guess what? This is an enterprise level company. We need to target every single device that's out there because we just don't know which one are the ones that's going to come in and purchase or use our services. So we have to target every single one. Guess what? This is when hybrid comes in. So we are covering all of this, guys.